Carpenter. What is it? Mr. Vandenberg is here to see you, ma'am. Good. Shall I in? Yes, ma'am. Vicky. Hi there. Thank you again for coming. Uh, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to see you, Vicky. I'm just sorry that it had to be under these circumstances so soon after Sloane's passing. Uh, oh, yes, well, things happen. Well, you're obviously taking good care of yourself. You look, uh, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sit down, Arthur. Oh. Mm. I need to ask you some questions regarding the trust fund that my father set up for his illegitimate son. Oh, yes, so unpleasant. This whole situation with David Vickers, it's, it's hard to imagine how he could have managed to fool so many people. Yes. Do you have any knowledge of the trust agreement? Well, just that it's worth nearly $30 million, and a few years ago they started paying out interest, oh, $50,000 per quarter, I believe. Who collected the payments? Well, David Vickers, I assume. Of course, I, I, I'm not privy to the actual transactions, but, uh, well, the trustees would have said something if no one had come forward to collect the quarterly payments. Do you think you could get me a detailed accounting in this matter as soon as possible? Well, I could speak to the trustees and they could contact you. <laughs> Remember, I, I'm just the literary advisor. Yes, do have them call. One more question. What happens to the money if the heir doesn't come forward? Does it revert back to the estate? Well, as I understand it, there is a 90-day waiting period starting from when the heir becomes 25 years old. When is that? Well, it was January the 2nd of this year, so there's about 60 days remaining of the period. And if no one comes forward in the allotted time, then the money goes to, uh, well, your sister, Tina. Tina? Tina? Oh, I didn't realize. That's all, Arthur. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I... Uh, not at all. Um, I hope that I've been of some help to you. You have. I'll be expecting the call very soon. Yes. Uh, uh, of course.